It is finally time for my favorite moments of a new Pokemon game releasing, and that is when I get to listen to and rank all of the themes. And then you guys can give me your opinions, usually very, very angry opinions about how I didn't get something right and how it's wrong and how I'm an idiot. That's my favorite part of a new game releasing, so let's get into it. This is a tier list of every single Basil theme. We're gonna listen to them all, at least most of it. I, I might talk over it a, a, a little bit just to give my thoughts and opinions, and then I'm gonna rank them, and I'm gonna give my proper full opinion Opinions. And listen, I'm not much of a music person. Uh, I'm just a dumb man with a brain. So when I say things, just uh, uh, keep in mind that I don't know how to truly vocalize how I feel about music because I've never learned how to do that. Anyway, let's start with uh, a battle theme number one, which is the Inlet Grotto. <laughs> Very mystical. Which I guess the inlet grotto kind of is. A lot of people may say this doesn't sound like a battle theme. But I think this is a really good battle theme for a cave. Ooh, it changes it up. I like the subtlety of this. Changed up again. Okay. I've heard enough. I like this. I think it's very mystical. I think it actually does work as a battle theme. I think that a lot of people might think that it doesn't work as a battle theme because it doesn't go hard, but I thoroughly enjoy that. I think that for a cave, it's the perfect kind of vibe you want in the depths of a cave when you might be trying to catch like small creatures. I think it's really cool. I think it's uh, it's got a nice, nice vibe for it. So I'm gonna put that into B. So we got our first B of the day. Fantastic. Of course, the chat will be also giving their opinions. Uh, I will not be swayed by your opinions though, chat. Your opinions can sit in the chat and they will not go into my brain. Uh, I, I'm gonna look at them, but they will not be uh, swaying me at all. East Province Wild Battle theme is up next. That's not, okay, there we go. I'm getting desert vibes from this. I'm getting Dragon Quest vibes from this, actually. Definitely more upbeat. Like, is that a flute in the background? That's really nice. Very, very upbeat. For some reason, this is reminding me of like a market theme from Dragon Quest when you go into a desert area, except they sped it up at like 150%. Are those maracas? For a wild battle theme, this this goes kind of hard. This could be a trainer theme. In fact, this could even be like some kind of boss theme. I, I really like that. It's got, again, it, listen, this is all about vibes. This is all about how a song makes you feel. This makes me feel happy. It's not too much for a wild battle theme, I don't think. It's, it's just on the precipice of being too much, but I thought that that was super fun. If you listen to that while you're catching a Pokemon, you're having a good time. You're enjoying yourself. This is Poco Path Wild Battle theme. We maybe should listen to this one first, but who cares, right? Oh, that sounds, yeah, that's a wild battle theme. Yeah, this is about as vanilla as vanilla gets when it comes to Pokemon battle themes.
A lot of these do give Sun and Moon vibes. You'll find that as a theme throughout the entire game. very confidently say that I would forget this in an instant. I, I I don't know. There's something about this that is, it's just so fine. It's okay. It's like as, I almost want to put this in D because I feel like in comparison to the other battle themes, it's just completely forgettable. I, I don't want to put something in D this early, but this is low C at best, even though it's not a bad theme, I don't think. It's just something that I would never hum to myself. I don't care about this theme. That, that's as far as I can go with it. Okay, here we go, North Province. We're gonna go a little bit north now. I have played so much of this game. This is ingrained in my mind now. No, it's not the same. It has the wait here. Okay, that's not the, that's not this part. Ooh, this that backing part. That backing part kind of saves it a bit. It's so it's very generic. It's very repetitive too. It's only the back end part the where it gives it a little bit of mysticism. It's like, like I, I like that part. That's the only part that really saves this. Otherwise, it's pretty mid. I would say it's just above the other battle theme though. Okay, we have South Province here. Oh God, this is ingrained in my mind as well. This is the theme on where you're trying to get to the next area and you try to jump over a Lechonk, but you get caught mid-air somehow by the hitbox. This is Lechonk's theme. And you're like, oh, fuck's sake, not another Lechonk, Jesus Christ. That bit is my favorite part. That part doesn't feel like it fits in this song. It takes a while to build up, but this part's quite, quite strong. It's just, it starts so weak. That's the problem here. It starts very, very weak. So I say I do prefer this. This is like high C. It does have some parts I like about it. Like the That's a cool little motif. I don't know if that's the correct word for it. I'm just making things up at this point. But that's my favorite part and it brings it just above the other two. Now we have West Province. Oh, cowboy, ranch. This is like Ty the Tasmanian Tiger, first boss. Yeah, you bet your sweet baby it's the Western theme. Yeehaw, baby. Yeehaw, in Spanish. I wonder if they did that on purpose. Is that the loop? I think that's the loop. Okay, so that is 
fun to listen to. In the end, I think quite forgettable. It's crazy to have Sarah Ledge in the thumbnail for this and the, the, the chunk for the other one. It's fun. It's more fun than any of the ones in C tier. I think we go low B for this because at the end of the day, it's 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 a very I think it's quite a short loop. It's 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 generally quite flat. I mean, it is a wild battle theme, so maybe that that's just how wild battle themes go. But any the, I, I think it's a, I think it's a low B. They definitely did it on purpose, though. Now this is gonna be a departure. This is area zero wild battle theme. It's gonna be a lot different. Now this is for paradoxes, isn't it? This is so Yusum. This is like a Yusum legendary fight. It's kind of insane. I don't know what it is. Scarlet and Violet just hit on the mysticism part so hard. Also, I'm having flashbacks and PTSD to when the 7,000 giraffe rig in a corner that I'm trying to jump over and I get hit, locked in the hitbox of one of them and this starts playing. And it does keep going. It's not like a short loop or anything. It does keep going. This is a paradox theme, so it's not trying too hard for a wild battle theme. Because this is a high level area with really cool Pokemon in it. That come from not an alternate dimension, but a time apart. Which makes the whole vibes... I would say quite fitting, to be honest. I'd say that's... If not high B, then A. Probably definitely the best we've listened to so far. I'll throw that high B. I'm not sure what I want to put into A just yet, but I definitely think that it's the best thing that we've listened to so far. Okay, trainer battle themes. I can't believe there's only one. I thought there'd be more than one, to be honest. It's very mid. Uh, I have to admit, it's very mid. It, this doesn't have the lead up to it though. Let's see if this video has the lead up. Oh yeah, there it is. And then the introduction, okay. Okay, that drop does bring it up a little bit for me. When you start talking to someone and this, ha this plays. That's a bit better. That's way better with the lead up. I was gonna put it in D. I'm gonna be completely honest. I was I was ready to put it in D the first D of the day. That has saved it. The drop is pretty sick. It's got a nice bouncy vibe. I just wish that it wasn't the only trainer battle theme because there's a lot of trainers that you can find in this game. There's not as many as the other games, but having just one theme, it gets old quite quickly. So I'm just gonna put it not as bad as Poco Path, but like just, just in C. If it wasn't for that lead up though, if it wasn't for the, the, the drop at the start of the fight, it would have been D. It was very close, it was very close. Next up is the Team Star Grunt, which if I remember correctly, this one is, uh, this one's pretty fun. There's a lot of guitar in this.
My favorite part is coming up, though. That, that's my favorite part. That's so good. Wait, here it comes. Bro, <laughs> this is the grunt music. Grunt. That's insane. Okay, okay, so spoilers for the, the Team Star uh, portion of the game, obviously. Uh, this theme, listen to this, and, and imagine like the story of how Team Star came to be, which was that they were all kids in school who were bullied, who tried to find common ground with other children to protect each other, is... I mean, it's... This is like, I, I mean, I'm gonna get super cringy when I say this. It's like a song of hope, right? I fucking love this, man. I think this is awesome. I'm putting this straight into S tier. I absolutely love this. It's so good. Now we have the Team Star boss, which, if I remember correctly, again... God damn, they just smack you in the face with an electric guitar. The guitarist just punched me. My nose is bleeding. POV, you're getting run over by a truck. Wait, wait, it still has more. It still has more to go. I forget how many sections there are to this. But my favorite hasn't happened yet. There's, there's more to come. She's so pale. She's just like me for real. Wait. This is my favorite part. Dude, that's fucking awesome, man. That's straight up awesome. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say. It has a ton of different sections to it. They're all good. up again? This is so hard. And the battles are perfect for this. I don't, I don't want to stop it. <laughs> I don't want to stop, I know we have to, dude, it's so good. It builds up so many times. There's not a single part of the song that is not perfectly arranged. There's not a single part of the song that doesn't perfectly reflect the Team Star bosses, the difficulty of the fight, the whole vibe of the moment. It's fucking, it's, it's, it's perfect. It's, it's literally perfect. It's. It's, it's, it's top of S right now, uh, or at least, th there we go, top of S. That's absolutely incredible. Everything should be, this should be a blueprint of how to do a boss fight theme. 
It is in every aspect. I, I can't think of a single flaw in this. It's absolutely brilliant. So I don't know what the difference is between this one and a few other themes. So I'm gonna do this one first and we'll see maybe what the difference is in a bit. Cassiopeia. Ooh, okay. Hello. What's it building up to, though? What's the drop? What's the drop? Okay. It's like an early 2000s pop song, but on 150 times speed. That backing part, though, is really nice. The ba 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 in the background. I love that. Okay, twinkle, twinkle. Okay, I think that's the loop. Okay, the thing is, okay, I have a problem here, which is I like this. However, we are just coming off of the Team Star boss theme, which is basically the equivalent of going cold turkey on meth and then having sex, right? Like, sex is great, it's fun, but once you have meth, like, it's nothing can be as good. Nothing can really reach that height. So, sure, like, it's, it's nice, you know, the sex is great. Cheers. But I was on meth a second ago. And nothing is quite as good as the meth. Unfortunately. So, I mean, it's, it's nice. It's good. But I, I don't think it's as good as the, the Team Star boss theme. So I'm going to throw that into, we'll say, we'll say high B. Uh, just below area zero theme. Yeah, I just, I, I wasn't really, wasn't really feeling as much energy from that one. Also, I'm not sure I, I like that. I don't know how to describe it. Like the scraping, the, the ba, 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 the, the way that it sounds. It's like a small animal screaming uh, in very short bursts, like, ah, 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 but they put it through some kind of distortion effect. And I'm not sure, I'm not a huge fan of that part. It's hard style. It's hard to listen to style. <laughs> Next, we got the Presidente, I mean, uh, the, the Principale of the school. Ooh. Wait, what? This is battle theme? Okay. I feel like I'm about to fight God with this song. Well, he's the principal of the school, so he basically is God to those people. I think it fits an old man like Clavel really well. Henry Clavel. I like the deep drums. It's very like end of gamey. It's very epic sounding. Which again, from the perspective of a trainer in school, this is like your number one top authority that you have to pay attention to and listen to, right? And it's quite calm too, because he's quite a calm individual. It's got a kind of calm understanding vibe to it. Which makes sense of the character. What? This part, I'm not huge about. But hold on, this part coming up? I like this.
That part is how I imagine everybody walks into a new university filled with hopes and dreams and possibilities in their minds. So, uh, I think that you'd be right if you didn't like it. I think there's a lot of reasons why you think that this is a bit of an underwhelming theme. But honestly, the vibes, the vibes are there. And like I said, everything in this video, it's a vibe check. And the vibes are there, so I'll put that high B. So I, I enjoyed it. No, it's not as high energy as some of the boss themes because a lot of the bosses that you're fighting in the game are kids, and kids have more high energy than old men, obviously. But it's, it's still, it's, it's appropriate, right? Okay, gym time. Let's go gym. <laughs> I remember this one, hold on. There's a lot of chewy chewy horns. Little repetitive at the start. Let's see if they switch things up. This theme does have different sections. That's true. They do add different sections to this. As a whole, the, the intro section, the intro section I'm not a huge fan of. The, what they've added to the background, I kind of like that. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of that loop. I'm just gonna skip ahead a little bit and see if it changes. Yeah, again, this is better. Oh, is this gonna be it? No, it's the same thing again. Oh wait, this, it's a little bit different actually, that's a little bit different. Wait. Here we go! Terrestrialize! Terrestrialize, baby! Watching the battle! Everybody chat! Okay, they are hard trying to rip on Sword and Shield, which doesn't work because we're not in a stadium. It's not a massive sporting event like it is in Galar. It's just a small crowd of about five people, and I'm led to believe that they sound like this? No, that's not happening. It's a nice theme, it just doesn't work in the context. And what I think the really good thing about a lot of these themes is that they really, really work well in the context of where you listen to them in the game. And these gym battle themes fall flat because it doesn't make any fucking sense at all that there would be like a when there's five people in the background because the game can't render anyone more because they didn't know how to program performance. So I do think it sounds nice. I'm gonna have to put it in C because I didn't like the start. I did like the end part, but the, the context is, it, it doesn't make any sense. It's still nice to listen to, I suppose, but as a gym leader theme, I wasn't hugely impressed by it. Terra Raid Fight up next. I feel like I've done this so many times, but I can't remember what it sounds like. Oh. Oh yeah, sparkly crystals. Sounds like an anime outro. This is 
so upbeat. This is ridiculously upbeat. Okay, here's my question. When I do a terror raid battle, what am I supposed to be feeling? Am I just supposed to be feeling like, have fun with friends? Because with Dynamax battles, it always used to be, this is a scary situation, you could be skeptical on at any point. But with Terror Raid, it, doesn't, it just feels like, hey, let's have a good time. I suppose Terror Raids are more like a rush. Because you, you do out of sync moves. And you're just supposed to go as fast as you possibly can. So I, in that context, it does fit more. Ooh, this spot's nice. I, the sparkles in the background definitely fits Terrasalizing. I'm not sure it really feels like a counter is counting down to, to an end point that you have to rush toward the end of. This really does... It, it feels like an anime outro. You know, I, I, speaking of Dynamax raids, I remember the Dynamax legendary theme from Sword and Shield. This this one was really good, right? Wasn't it? Yeah, I really I remember. I really like this. This feels more. This is definitely like danger filled. Like you're in trouble. I really like that. Uh, this one is fine. I mean, it's okay. In context, it kind of works. I'm not sure I personally like it as much, but uh, I'll, I'll put it like, uh, I'll put it high C. I'll put it above Gym Leader. It's just above Gym Leader for me. All right, first up is the Pneumonia fight. In terms of rivals. use electric guitar in the entire OSC for this. It's Mario Kart vibes. <laughs> Okay, this is super upbeat. It's incredibly energetic. It's not too serious. It's perfectly Pneumonia's character. I also really like Pneumonia's character. Melanoma is great. She doesn't have any of the annoyances that I got from Hop. She's just fun to be around. She's like bouncy, excited, wants you to perform well. I, I, I don't know. I, I really thought that this is a fun rival. I think she's great. Yeah, I'm gonna put Hypothermia's theme in A tier. I, I think that it's great. I think it's perfectly suited for her. And it's just really fun to listen to as well. Like, that's just fun to listen to. I had, I had a great time there. Okay, Arvin. I don't remember Arvin's theme. I'm gonna be honest. about this part. I don't know if this really suits. First part was good. I guess this part is when he makes the sandwiches. It's a little bit slower. Ooh, this part's nice though. I 
actually think Arvin's team could have benefited for being a little bit slower and methodical. Because that's kind of how he is as a person. And also, can I just say, like, as a side point, Arvin got dicked. He, he, he deserved so much better. Arvin should have been the main character of this game. Arvin deserved so much better. He's a brilliant character. I just feel bad for the guy. I actually think, yeah, this could have benefited from being a little bit less upbeat. Because, I mean, this, this part's quite good. This, I like this bit. This has a, a sense of longing in it, which I, I like. And that's really good. Uh, okay. As far as the theme, I'm not just rating the character, I'm rating the theme here. Character's awesome. I put the, the theme in, in B tier. I put it below Cassiopeia, because I thought the Cassiopeia was a little bit more, uh, a little bit more suited. Arvin deserves so much better, man. He deserves a better theme. He deserves a better parent. <laughs> oh no, wait, hold on. I guess he doesn't deserve, I guess it wasn't really the, the parent's fault. But, uh, all right, uh, let's go on to the Penny's theme. Wait, we already did this, didn't we? Okay, we already did this already. It has to be said once again, that, that's, a, that's a banger. <laughs> that is a banger. It is, it is the same theme, I think. Yeah, I, I played the game. Chat, I know that Penny and Kasopola is the same person. I'm asking if it's the same fucking theme because there were two different videos. That's all I wanted to know. I played the Vimeo game, all right? I know what happens in this. <laughs> Time for Melanoma's last fight. Let's see what this one's like. Final battle. Okay, this one is a little, this is a, this is a little try hard. This one is quite try hard. This is like they took the, the, I think the original theme that she had was pretty perfect. And they were like, okay, now we do it. Now we put on steroids. Come on, let's go, baby. It does sound like an anime, anime outro. It is, it is the upbeat finale. Like, congratulations, you won the day. And now you have the last fight with your rival. It does sound like that. So it is pretty perfectly suited for where it is in the game. But God, they're trying so hard to make it like more epic than Pneumonia's actual regular theme. Which actually I think is a hindrance to it. It's still fun. It's just not, it's not as good. It's not as memorable as, as her first theme. I'd say that's a B. Okay, next up, Titan. I can't remember what this one was like either. Epic, big, strong, imposing. Okay, it's imposing, it's a little bit mysterious, Herba Mystica. It's big, it's scary. Oh yeah, it's a little bit anxiety inducing. I'm not sure about this part. Listen, I have a proposition. Why don't we replace that with something else? Could you 
imagine if that was the Titan theme? <laughs> okay, I mean, Titan's theme is... It's pretty good. It's it's a fun listen. I, I wouldn't go back to it. I probably wouldn't listen to it again, but it, it works in the moment. It's it's kind of big and imposing. It, it works within the context of the moment. So it's it's not hard to listen to. It's not bad. So I'd say it's like, uh, I'd say it's like low B. I'd say it's below pneumonias. Or maybe just high C. Yeah, just actually just high C instead. I'm just gonna throw in C. I don't know what tournament battle theme is. I didn't do this part of the game. Let's go. Ooh. Where, where does that remind me of? What game does that remind me of? What the fuck? Me checking to see if I put this on faster playback speed? This is so, it's like laid back. No, this is too much for Mario Kart chat. Ooh, hi. This is what fighting your biology teacher sounds like. Oh, it's the school tournament. I'm frantically trying to figure out if I like this or not. As an end of term, battle your teachers kind of, kind of vibe. I think I do like this. Like they're still powerful trainers, and you can tell they're still powerful, but it's not too serious. Ooh. That's kind of nice. It's like they took one of the original Gen 1, Gen 2 battle themes and, and modernized it, added some trumpentos, trumpunts. Made it upbeat, fun. You can, you can imagine this at like the end of a festival, like a school festival of some kind, they get on the stage, everyone's battling. Ooh, it's so jazzy, ooh! It's so jazzy! The more I listen to this, the more I like it. This is a perfect graduation. There's so many outro <laughs> themes in this game. There's like 17 times where the game says goodbye. I really like that. I didn't know if I liked that at the start. It started very, uh, very nostalgically, but also very strangely. And then the more I listened to it, the more I was like, no, this is perfect. This is, this is really good. That's a fun listen. Okay, now we do Paradox Pokemon. I think this is a specific Paradox Pokemon. Again, super mystical. Yeah, it's, it's like the Area Zero Wild Battle theme, but remixed. And it goes a little harder. This definitely fits the past Pokemon. The future Pokemon, not so much. I actually love how much it fits the Ultra Beast themes and the whole Yusum style of making music because it, they both play off of the idea of Pokemon from, from elsewhere, either from a different time or a different dimension. This also has an air of danger in it. It's like not super upbeat. Oh, that, those drums. 
I love those drums, they're so good. It fits both, it actually does. It has like the beeps and boops for a future Pokemon, but also has the heavy drums of a past Pokemon. Wow, this is ri- damn! I, I thought it'd be really hard to make a song that really well fits the future and also the past while also making it sound good. But damn, they did it. I mean, they straight up did it. That's really good. That's super well made. That must have been so hard to make. I don't know how it easy it is to make music. It, it, obviously not very easy, but damn, they must have really put a lot of thought and effort into that because that, that was really, really good. Karate on and on next. Plot armor battle theme. <laughs> Yo, that's so. I can't get over that. That's actually so true. I was thinking about it. I was like, as like a final battle theme, as like a climax the entire game, it doesn't feel like you're in any danger at all. It, this feels like a victory lap. This feels like a you already won and the rest of it's just a formality type of thing. And it's literally because the power of friendship gives you plot armor and you literally cannot lose. The final battle realistically happened before this. And this is just the, okay, I guess we're going to clean up with the broom now. We, we had all the emotional climax of the story and now everyone's happy and you get to experience the, the power of the emotional climax through smacking a Coridon or a Maridon in the face in front of you. Also, I am getting massive Sun and Moon vibes from this. Because I just remembered that the... It feels like the Sun and Moon champion battle theme a little bit. Right? This is, this is so much like that. <laughs> this is the power of... <laughs> this is the power of sandwiches. Like, it, hold on, if you, if you wait for it to like... Like, it's literally, it feels like the end of the game, but it feels like you already won. It feels like you've already won and now it's the end, but it was still having a fight after you already won, which is really strange. Okay, this is, yeah, this is the plot armor theme. Um, I mean, it's... In the context of the game, it's, it fits. I kind of wish there was more stakes in this fight, but there's none. The stakes are gone completely in this fight, which kind of brings down the intensity. I mean, this is the payoff after after you've done everything. But I kind of wish the payoff had a little bit of stakes. And like the song, it just feels like it doesn't. No stakes, no beef. So I'm not gonna rank this highly. I'm gonna say this to C. Because I understand, I understand why it's like this, but I, I wish that the point in the game wasn't like this. I feel like it's too, it's, it's too just upbeat and happy and like, oh, you did it already, everything's done. Where it should be like, okay, you put the effort in, but things can still go wrong. Like, you're, you're in a powerful position, but you're teetering on the edge of failure still. That's, I feel like that's how it should be, at least in my opinion. It would be nice if it was like that. And now we get onto the Seda and Turo, the Professor battle theme against the, spoiler alerts, against the AI at the end of the game. This is the final boss. This is straight up the final boss. The final boss of bosses. The champion is not the final boss. This is the final boss. I know we're doing it a little bit early, but still, here we go. You're in a massive terrestrialized room.
you can hear the just in the back. There's like subtle hints of of something approaching. This part is fucking awesome. I think, I think this is my favorite part coming up. Oh my god. Dude, I couldn't say anything the whole time. I just fucking love this song, man. Just the whole idea of where you are in the game. This song is so fucking good. The the oh, the whole leading up to it. Everything about the story of the original professor dying and the remnant AI trying to fix everything with the time machine, but being forced into a final battle against its own will because the time machine's trying to preserve itself. With the professor pulling Pokemon from the future to stop you. Oh, fuck me. It's so good. This is this is probably one of my favorite Pokemon songs of all time. That would have been a good story if I'd been able to see it in game first. Maybe you shouldn't have joined an all battle theme stick thing then. Oh, dude, it's so fucking good. Yeah, it's straight up S tier. Oh my god, it's so good. I love the story. The story of this game is so good. The story of this game is so good. The only thing I wish is that... <laughs> I wish the protagonist wasn't the protagonist. I wish Arvin was the protagonist. Because Arvin is the one that really deserves the payoff. If Arvin was the character that took down the AI to fix the whole problem that their parents created, it would have been so much more impactful rather than a fucking random 12 year old that moved in from Britland like seven days ago. Well, Arvin gets completely sidelined while the AI doesn't talk to the kid for the entire time, talks to the random protagonist the entire time because random protagonist is good with lizard boy, a robot thing and feeds it Sammy's. Even though Arvin is the one that makes it Sammy's in the first place. Bro, Arvin got so gypped. Arvin got so ripped off. It's crazy. It's crazy how much Arvin got robbed. It would be so much more impactful if Arvin was the main character. That would have been like, that would have sent it over the edge, man. Okay, Elite Four time. Uh, I remember playing through the Elite Four and thinking, wow, this is wank. <laughs> but let's see if my opinions change on this one. Now, when I listen to it by itself. Wait, what the hell is this? This didn't happen when I played the game. Bro, wait, no, I just heard this. Is that a glitch? Bro, this game is not ready to be sold. <laughs> Literally the entire time it just goes and I was like, wow, this is shit. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll listen to the theme then.
Okay, so it turns out when you can actually listen to the steam, it actually sounds a lot better, which is crazy. Unfortunately, I'm still butthurt and, and, and mad about the fact that Game Freak can't release a game that allows you to listen to its fucking music correctly, so I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to put that in D tier, unfortunately for you, Mr. Elite Four. Honestly, during the, f even though I listen to it, it, it does sound a bit, it does sound pretty cool, but it's it's just not up to the other Elite Fours. I, I would forget that pretty quickly, but I remember like Gen 5 Elite Four, like that, like on a dime. I remember Gen 5 Elite Four and like Gen 3 Elite Four. I remember that on a dime. This one, I, I'd probably forget pretty quickly. The composer apologized on Twitter. That's not, oh no, the composer apologized. That's so sad. That's not his fault. He didn't, it's not his fault. He didn't, he didn't break the game. He didn't program the game to be completely broken. Poor fella. Oh well, uh, here's the champion battle theme, which I, I suppose I probably also didn't hear this one, did I? Yep, didn't experience this one either. This is a bit of a weird one. Wait, so you didn't think to restart the game when it glitched? You just assumed the Elite Four and the Champion have five second themes? Mate, I was doing a Nuzlocke, I was scared. I was I was focused on the, the, the Pokemon to be fair. <laughs> Dude, this shit is all over the place. This 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 theme is so messy. They're they're trying to do like seven thousand different things. They're trying to put like every other champion theme inside of this song while also trying to make it its own song. And it just it just falling flat. This is the only good part. I'm trying to figure out if I dislike this more or less than this one. Damn, I think I hate this more than Ch Leon's theme and I really didn't like Leon's theme. Ah. Uh... Why do they try and shove all the other champion themes inside this? Why do they just try and make it its own? What is it with Game Freak and not making champion themes? This this is not <laughs> this is not a battle theme. This is like a Hall of Fame. Like, oh, you did it. Oh, and I get it because Leon thinks he's already gonna win. Yeah, I know. I've heard it a thousand times. Still don't like it. Still not a good theme. Still didn't enjoy it. This again, just trying to recycle another theme that has already been in Pokemon before again. Why can't the Game Freak just make champion themes? Sorry, D. I, I, I'm not. I'm not a fan of that. Unfortunate! Hopefully next time Game Freak will just make a champion theme. Legendary Quartet theme! I hope this is good, I haven't listened to this either. I haven't found any of these. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Mystical. Dangerous. Shaolin Showdown. I'm just saying what comes to mind. Whoa! Not sure how I feel about this bit. I like the acoustic instruments. I know they're going for like the Chinese theme. Switch it up. Mm. 
mystical ancient. God damn. This goes unexpectedly hard. Holy shit, it is. It switches it up so fast. What the fuck? Okay. Okay, that, that was like a sensory overload there. It switches it up so fast and it like smacks you in the face. I feel like it switches it up a bit too fast. I understand what they're going for here, but they didn't have to make it. To, I, I, this part is good. I like this part, but when they, when they did this, like that, that, that was jarring. That was like a right corner. That was like, you're driving straight, you're in your Tesla, you're driving straight, and then boom, there's a wall in front of you, so you smash into it, but you can go a little bit through, you can go through the wall because it's made of foam, but you still kind of messed up your Tesla a bit. I don't know if I dislike it though. I know it, it does change up on you too fast, but like, this, it's, it's kind of a jam. I think that's a solid A, which means that we have our definitive winner, which is the churro and sad theme from the AI fight. And also we have Team Star because Team Star absolutely slaps. I think this is the correct tier list. If you disagree with me, then feel free to argue. The engagement will help my channel. Thank you so much. And make sure you subscribe if you have not already.